are in England. And murdering. Yeah, and there was... Um, We're in Croston, yeah? Wellbrook. Elm You're Heart. in Elm. Elm. We're in Elm, Elm Heart. Heart. Oh, we're in Elm Heart, yeah. Yeah, and... Yeah, you dragged us down here selfishly. That's what I remember. Yep. And Gary so didn't, what... didn't want to go to Elm Heart, yeah. Nah, not fun. There was a couple of guards. Um, a dead young guard, a guy called Thorn, who had a bolt of unusual origin stuck in his neck. Uh, Sergeant Kaler was uh, the City Watch sergeant who was at the scene. Um, you met the trapper, Lysandra Frostwind, on the river. We did meet her, out yeah. To the west, um, Lord Percival Goldenshore, the Lord of Elmhart, council Dead. member of Verdania, a gnome, was assassinated mm. a few days ago. Or yes, and I got deeply offended by it, and we went and animated as Dead. I remember. Well, we, we spoke with Dead. Uh, yeah, that's cool. We spoke Same with Dead, yes. Um, he said it was an incredibly pale elf that did it. Yeah, a woman. A woman. A woman. A woman she ran away and killed someone in innocent on the way, didn't she? Oh, white God. skin. Uh, she killed the guard. Yeah, she turned yeah, back, corpse, took a shot white. with what looks like a crossbow. Uh, yeah, corpse white. Um, Poisoned using mushrooms. Poisoned using a mushroom based, yes, uh, poison. And those other weird kind of bat skin fletching on the on the bolt. Bowing. But around. Yeah. Um Did we do anything after that? We no, we, yeah, we, we ended with Speak with Dead on the, the, the okay. Dead Gnome, I believe. And, All and right. the revolution. So, that, yeah, yeah. With the information you have gleaned, is there anything you'd like to start doing? This town is large enough. It's a town opposed to a village. And so it's... I think I did have stats for how many people live here, but who cares? It's Like, it's 30 or 40,000 people. Wow. Verdania is the biggest city, but this is certainly a large town. So you've yeah. got the center of it, um, which is kind of business and living space for the richer folk then as it spreads out the the paths get a little wider and the houses are dotted a little further apart and it spreads out quite a bit until it becomes farmland off towards up near the river but further out to the west is probably huge kind of cranes and engines of machinery for uh, cutting giant logs and creating planks and stuff like that. And there's a constant trail of boat, uh, these cargo boats you saw, going up and down the river. Yeah. The river is wide. It's like, you know, 100 meters at its thinnest. Right. And now listen. So, go on. Sorry. Larry. Uh. I made you a promise. Uh that we would spend the night here and that we would leave. Hoods up, making no friends, making no names. Oh, yeah. If you can tell me that you don't want to stick around and find out what's going on here, oh yeah, we'll get back on our rides and we'll ride back up to Verdon. Uh, there's a dastardly plot afoot. I think we should uh, investigate. I'll look to Sigurd and Quintus, see how they feel about that. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely we need to revenge this. Avenge. This is the great naval man. So I think we find Captain Ironsong. Um, she was the woman that we were dealing with before from the uh, the Elmheart Iron Folk. That's what I've gotten written down. Uh. And we let her know what we've learnt, that we are looking for a deathly pale elf. She'll be around the scene. She won't be hard yeah. to get her, get her mm. hands on. Um, she'll be back at the houses. But I uh, would recommend anyone who encounters her could report the sighting rather than trying to apprehend, certainly not trying to apprehend this elf alone. Mm. You think they're still in the city, she says. No, but we can't take that risk. <laughs> All right, well, I'll... 
send word around to the uh, the watch and I'll see if anyone's seeing the likes. Anything else? Don't need the one. Mm. Captain, do you reckon it was only the one? We've no reason to believe the self had an accomplice, right? No. I believe we didn't. None was seen. Now, so she has her, yeah, the APB put out essentially. Yeah. Any pale elf. And uh, she says now, she'll send word to you if anything's uh, one spot. Your guard, mm -hmm. Thorn, didn't know who this person was. Mr. Um, Golden Shower <laughs> didn't know. Oh, that guy. Had, didn't recognize the individual at all. So not a local type. Oh, that's right. You went to the um, infirmary or uh, hospital. Mortuary, yeah. yeah Spoke yeah. to his lordship. <clears throat> R.I.P. I think we should start canvassing um, social locations and find out if she was seen entering town. Yeah. Well, there's, there's got to be like city guards on the uh, on the gates or what? Town guards. Well, I said when she got in. Unseen, I would assume she'd avoid those kind of routes. Uh... Huh. So this is a walled city. The walls um, are right up against the docks, and they stretch out <laughs> around the old town, and then kind of new town is to the north, and there's lots of places, uh, lots of houses, um, like thousands of houses, uh, mm. on the outside of it. So... Um, the, his lord's house is obviously inside the old town with the rest of kind of the upper crust and the rich folk and then the there's no kind of there are patrols that go around the whole town but there's no gates guards or anything like that further out to the north so huh. yes it wouldn't be it wouldn't even take a full day to go walk the perimeter of old town mm. and ask people are, we, are, the, you, are the gates entered the boss? station? Are they are they manned? Are they they kind of? Yes. And you can remember the two lads who were guarding the southern gate when you came in off the we came in, river yeah. road. In which case, everything, boss, we we'll split up and take a gate each and, and talk to the guard. Yeah, I would say so. All right, uh, Larry, you take the one we came in through. All right. Uh, Figured you're on the north, on the road okay. up towards Stonewall. Uh, Quintus, uh, westernmost. And I'll um, ask around at the harbour. All right, and we'll be meeting back. Bob. Back at the Gilded Griffin for Bob. lunch. Yeah. Yeah. Well, right on, boss. If it gets to two bells in the afternoon and somebody hasn't shown up, we'll go looking for him. Right. But um, try not to go anywhere other than the gate that you're going to, and it's <laughs> urgent. Sure. Me immediately goes to a brothel. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> all right, lads. Give us a. Uh, instead of going through all of this, let's just give us yeah, investigation sure. checks, please. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Uh, oh. 21. I could Look at that. I've rolled two Nine. ones in a row since this session started. Nice. I've got one HP, one on that check. I'm going to use an inspiration Which gate were you going to? Uh, the one we came through. The uh, yeah, you approach. You do you identify yourself? Uh, Show a badge or anything? Uh, I can't remember what we said last time. Well, I know just because you were in kind of going incognito. 
Uh, Can you give Ford's name to the sergeant in the constabulary yeah, office? Yeah, I'm just trying to find oh, it. Corporal Stalwart rather than Corporal Endeavour, I think I introduced you. Sure, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm Stalwart. I'm investigating the murder. That kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. All, all right. Whose murder is that, then? Uh, well, not public information yet. Have you seen any tall elf, pale elf ladies with dark hair? They're all in black. No, can't say I have. You sure about that? They did kind of stand out around here. We don't get many of them. Hmm. All right. Do you look genuine? Yeah, yeah, he does. He just doesn't know what I'm all about. All right, well, fair enough. Well, there was this odd thing that happened a few nights ago, though. Oh? Go we on. Had two, we had two of the lads that were on duty at that time got uh, fell asleep. Huh. Both of them. Huh. Now, that's a lashing around here for falling asleep on Jody. Rightly so. So, uh, and they got the lashings, but two of them, it's just a bit weird. They've been eating anything weird or drinking. I they had their evening meal, started their shift. Where at? That night it was. Where'd they have it? In the tower there. He oh, nods his head towards the guard's hair. It's either side of the kind of poor colours, you know. Mind if I take a look? Yeah, I'm not sure what you'll find. Oh, just, just three days ago. Check it for poison and stuff, you know? Just in case. Unusual that guards would fall asleep like that, I suppose. It is around these parts. Hasn't been a lashing in months. Yeah, well, you know, if we can. Defend yeah, the men's well, honour. All right, I'll new be... soldier then. That was a long time ago. Yeah, well, two years ago in the war. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We all were. Yeah. All right. Well, follow me. Cheers, bruv. <laughs> he uh, gets in a ring of keys, big old iron key, and uh, opens the, the guardhouse door <laughs> on the inside of the portcullis mm. and leads you in. Oh. Um. Big square room. Um, there's some, I don't know, weapons up against one wall. There's some suits of armor mm. folded over a, a bench on one side. It looks like a kind of a repair sec area there as well. Then just some benches and tables and a stairs leading up. Um, and, um so the food's upstairs. Uh, if you want to follow me. Yeah. Look, looks all relatively normal from what you've seen of barracks and things in your yeah. time. I'll sort um, of sniff the, the drink and see if it smells weird or out. <laughs> I don't know. So, there's nothing down here, but when you get upstairs, there's a couple of benches lined out um, enough for probably eight or ten people to sit down. Mm. And then there's a, a small kind of chimney built into one side, and there's pot of some meaty liquidy thing mm. bubbling away uh, uh, think, uh, the smell of venison stew and then they've got a cabinet of supplies and stuff beside it food yeah. supplies that is i'll just like go, or sniff all the food and just look for anything weird i don't know yes yeah, so you got any way of recognizing uh, poison so have you come across any any poisons before do you have any proficiency in it uh no more of a okay, stabby but, man. But you did roll a 20-something on your investigation yeah, check, didn't you? I did. Yeah. 21. You have a sniff around, and you... There's something about... There's a half loaf of bread there uh. that that looks... And, sorry, looks fine. Looks perfectly normal. Uh. But it's got just a weird whiff off it. Huh. Kind of earthy, nutty something about it. It, it definitely smells off to you and you've been around these parts before. That's like it's not some local delicacy yeah. or something like that. This you know what this bread should taste like or should mm. smell like. And this this one 
to you smells off, you might want to bring it to yeah, somebody I'll who knows a bit better. This, and it's, this... it's, 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 sorry, it's, it's like a... To, Someone who has a smell. You're, yeah, you're thinking this bread is two or three days old. It's yeah. pretty hard. I, I'm going to take this because it smells a bit funny. And I'll see if I can exonerate your boys. Because uh, if they've been put to sleep deliberately, then, well, fucking hell. Oh, Jesus, don't tell them. Oh, not Jesus, well, gods, don't tell them that. They've been whipped already. Well, I mean, give, mate. Give us a sniff. Ah, uh, oh, oh, fine. I should give him a sniff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, oh, yeah. Him to Smell my finger. <laughs> yeah. That was a bit funny. Yeah, exactly. Look, uh, no offence to you, lad, but do you mind if I take a bit of this myself? Why? Well. We've all got superiors to answer to. Oh, yeah, of course. And I might have to prove my, uh, the boy's innocence, you know. Sure. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, absolutely, yeah. I'll uh, just slice it in half. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Cool. Sweet. All right, well, uh, best of luck. Hope you catch your man. Aye, aye. Keep, keep your eye, <laughs> keep, your, keep an eye out. Don't fall asleep, you know, all right. <laughs> Ugh. All right. Yeah, I'll take me bread. Cool. He'll he'll wander back down and uh, lock up the door. Oh, idly just... idly nibble on the bread as I walk back to town. No, I won't. <laughs> um, no, no. <laughs> no, I, I, I do not eat the bread. Yeah, I guess I'll just walk back to town for a rendezvous with the lads. So the rest of your um, guys' investigations turn up pretty empty. Yeah, there's been people in and out, no one fitting that description. Um, the northern gate is less loosely, sorry, is guarded in a poorer fashion. Um, it seems like the sergeant who is in charge of the northern gate views the expanse of the town beyond it as a, a kind of a I know, stopgap or something like that. Like, so many civilians would be going in and out that essentially you think you could, could probably, these people could have snuck in, but there's no evidence or sighting of them. Understood. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the, re the rest of the, the gates are, there's not much to go on. Okay. No, nothing unusual at the at the docks that might have caught my attention on this matter. Yeah. Okay. Which gate did you go to, uh, I, Gex? The one that we came through was what I, what Gex, I Gex, Gex went to the eastern gate that's closest to the woods. Western okay. Western gate that's closest to the woods. The one Sorry. that we came through. Can we just flip that? Because I thought you went. You came through. I thought you came through the southern gate. Across the river, the bridge. Yes. Okay. The one that we came so in this, through, this, yeah. this information was found there. Okay. So if you don't mind, Gex went there. <laughs> Towards the city. Went elsewhere. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, I wasn't clear then on which parts of the city were gated and which. Yeah, yeah. fine. Yeah. Understood, okay. sir. So uh, you meet back up as planned in the, the Gilded Griffin. Um. I think it was Ari, Arid, was the landlord. If I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, right yeah, I'm sure. Sounds and legit. He, <laughs> and he's in there stocking up the fire. So a couple of people in having lunch. It's about two o'clock now. Mm. And um, Larry arrives back in with his news. Yeah, got some... I found some bread which I do believe may be poisoned. I am not. I don't have any proficiency in poisonous kit, but I do have alchemy. Do I? Herbalism and herbalism proficiencies. Will that do? Yes, it will. Herbalism. What's that? Survival? Question Nature. I'm no dirty poisoner, but I figure one of you fellas might have yeah, the uh, expertise. I assume it's nature plus my proficiency, then, sir. So. Yes. Twelve. I'll not give great. you a, a, a die, Sam. 
Thank you. Did you roll that, then? Uh, no, you roll it. Yeah, general rule. If Ooh, that is gives much you a better. Die, then 18. You roll it. There is most certainly something been not just added into this bread you you think it's been baked with the bread huh so the mm. poison wasn't placed in the loaf the poison was done in a bakery possibly huh yes this is definitely tainted uh, I, I believe someone has baked this into the bread so, so like whoever supplies the soldiers should I use the tact on it just to clarify exactly what would be in it. Yes, you can. Good to take poison. Take poison. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. right, got you. Oh, yeah, just on that edge again. You said <laughs> detect. Yeah. yeah, detect poison, I mean. Can I just detect, <laughs> yeah. please? Detect yeah, the answer. So <laughs> detect poison. <laughs> mm. You willies. So... Again, just like the spell has been cast before, it's very vague. You know it's a reptile poison. Huh. The only thing you have seen, heard about... You say a reptile poison. Or yeah. A reptile, yeah, yeah. God fell asleep with boners. It's like... Um, Priapism. There's a sort of... There's lizards down on the southern coast. Bastards. That has a bite that has this uh, that is poisonous. Venom, and it's, yeah. um, that's the closest thing you can place it to, but it is absolutely definitely not that lizard. Yeah. Fog. So if I oh see ah, uh, you should not have given that fucking bloke bread. Why? Because that's gonna make a false positive now, because I've got locate object. So, uh, so I think cast locate object on the bread. Yeah. Yeah. And then it would have taken us to the closest. Um, like, between what you guys might know, with you with your herbalism proficiency and Mister Proficiency, how long, how stable is this venom? So, for example, can it be stored, or does it need to be extracted from the lizard and then used immediately? The, uh, the lizard <clears throat> venom that um, Sigurd is familiar with is a highly stable one because okay. of the viscosity of, of the air. So I'd also I... relay what information I'm getting from yeah. the yeah. tech. So anyone with any other efficient stuff would uh, have the full picture too. Yes, it's, it's, it's stable. Stable enough. Could be transported, could be stored. Yeah, regardless, whoever's done this has at the very least had access to the bakery and presumably to the quartermaster at the the guard post. Mm. This might go deeper than a single agent, a single assassin then. Depending on how... Sir accurate say the locate object actually it is you would necessarily be able to pick out what bakery place would have been made in because each place is going to make their stuff their own what place. kind of i, I will assume that there is a contract for supplying the barracks and that you know they'll have receipts and a sense of, of who's right unless the guards are bringing their own bread from home well, what, what, in this country. what kind Fucking of bread is it? Are you sure we can narrow it down? It's like a round loaf of brown bread. Yeah. First okay. off, probably should be a baker's. Yeah, that's Just, uh, near the near the location. Let's try it. Would we like to try and find out if the guards post? has a contract and a regular baker that provides it, or we just or try the nearest how baker to the... about we go and find the lads who yeah. got whip? And ask yeah. them where they got the bread. That'll do it. That'll work. Yeah. <laughs> a couple That's of so conversations later, and back and forth between several guards and of various ranks, leads you back indeed to the infirmary where you interviewed Lord uh, Golden 
shower or whatever the fuck he was called. Yeah, gold, golden <laughs> plane? I don't know. Yeah. Gold slug. Golden teeth. Golden anyway. Shore. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and these lads are, one of them is waiting in the corridor while the other one's getting various oils and unctions put on those whips, whip uh, scars that are on his back. So listen, lad, we're aware of what befell you. We're not here to bail you out or make excuses, but we are here to find out what happened because we believe this is not a matter of moral failing on your behalf. I'm sure you will agree that the both of you falling asleep, unprompted and without some outside influence simultaneously, is highly unlikely, given that you are indeed trained guards and loyal to the king and all that. Yeah, that now, sounds about right. We happen to believe that you may have been poisoned and dosed with some soporific or another well, to bring you I don't know what that means, eventually. but that's what I did tell the Sarge. I did tell him there must have been something dodgy in that food. Yeah. Didn't feel right afterwards. Anything um, strike you unusual about it as you were eating it, before you were eating it, when it was served? No, same shitty stew as we usually have. Same but as usual. Free meal. And where's that come from, that stew? What about uh, one of the one of the apprentices makes it every morning. What about the bread? Oh yeah, a uh, lad called Jack uh, delivers that from bakery down the road. Hmm. You know the name of the bakery? Yeah, Jack's Bakery. Jack's bacon. Okay, fine. But it's around the corner from your uh, your post, is that right? Yeah. How about we show him the bread, ask him to smell and see if it's the stuff he... Yeah, it smells a bit funny now, but it was all right back then. Couldn't taste anything different about it. What, you think it was this bread? Possibly. Or oh, fucking ring Jack's neck when I find him. You might not have to, my friend. <laughs> you know him well. Yeah. He's been yeah. delivering to us for the last... Since I've been a guard, anyway, the last five or six years. He's an alpha. Yeah. Can't miss him. Bit limpy and gimpy in one leg and... Big fat fella. Cool. Big fat elf fella. No, no, he's human. Ah, oh. I thought he said elf as well, but yeah, yeah me too. Yeah. A bit in the mic, I don't know. Maybe he said old fella or something. Uh, oh, I said it. Yeah, I did. I said big, elf fella. Big fat old fella. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm expert decrypting Gav. <laughs> cool. Very well. Well, <laughs> to the bread shop. Up yeah. So he said. That's Jack's Bakery is uh, burnt down. A hive of activity. Oh. Um, hive of customers space. inside. Go on, Vilni, yes. yes. Uh, there's customers inside buying cakes and, and breads. Um, there's kind of a there's flour in the air. There's apprentices in the back uh, kneading great mounds of dough. It's going to say fairly early in the morning. No, it's not because you went out and did your... Yeah, yeah it's whatever it's it'll afternoon. Be, it'll be, yeah, well into the afternoon by now, won't it? It's the yeah. time. And you can see uh, who, what must be Jack behind the counter serving customers. He raises an eye just to... Look at these heavily armored men that have just strolled into his bakery. He stops, or he uh, finishes transaction with the the little old deer who who walks out. And uh, all right, lads, what can I help you with then? Mm. Bit of grub, something for the road, I assume. No. 
I will um, show him my captain's badge and right. say, um, I hope we might have a word. Slightly sensitive matter. Do you have someone else that can take the counter here for you for a minute? Yeah. Lars, you leave that down for a minute and come over. Work the counter. Maybe take him into the kitchen area and I can do yeah. so detect the, poison. The, the, he it comes around the counter and and says, yeah, we can talk out front. Might want to keep this relatively private. Do you have a, a back room? Maybe we can work in your kitchen, your larder. Yeah, i got the storeroom. The lads are busy in the kitchen. Don't want to interrupt them. Come on through. He lifts the kind of counter flap and uh, yeah. strolls through the back kitchen, which you're kind of walking, you know, uh, is part of this room. It, it leads and, through the kitchen. Yeah, that's fine. I'm I'm gonna have a little look at the staff and see um, a if any of them look like they're kind of noticing us. If they look at all worried or concerned to see us around. Gives an insight check. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Um, sixteen then. Um, they are all looking at you, um, none of them with worry in their body language. But they are, it's unusual, obviously. And yeah. um, they're all young men, and probably under 20. Yeah. Definitely no soldiers or fighters here. Um, but kind of apprentice age. So be, there would be lads even younger, like yeah. teenagers as well. These lads here learning a trade rather than going out serving their country. Oh, somebody's got to feed the army. That's what we yeah. do here. 200 loaves every day go up to a soldiery here. Well, Mr. Jack, that might be precisely what we wanted to speak to you about. Oh, yeah. Mm. Um, well, so he yep. leads you into the back store room. Uh, sacks of flour, grain. Sorry, would it even be flour? Sure, why not? But sacks of flour and other jars and honeys and odds and ends. So what's this all about? And now he's a big man. He's like 18 stone. Um, the room you're in is quite small and he's... And there's rows of shelves with all this shit stacked up um, through the center of it. So he can... They're about the width of him. So he walks down to a... Halfway down to one of these aisles, poking and checking things, and then he turns to address you. So what's this all about, then? I'm, bread I'm gone gonna... missing. Not enough bread. Quietly give Sigurd a sniff, uh, a, a wink, and suggest that he has another look around. Yeah. Sigurd in particular. Cool. Um... Because I'm expecting I'm gonna... him to cast Detect Poison Disease yeah. again. <laughs> so I'm going to cast my Detect Poison and uh, take a little look. little look around around the bakery, around the store, and that sort of thing. Yeah. Have you had um your staff? They've all been with you for some time. Is that right, Mister Jack? Yes, yeah, that's that you know right. Well and trust. You haven't had any indication of um, tampering with your bread. Any any ingredients go missing or be adjusted um, recently? Also, when I'm outside the door, going to cast Zone of Truth. Then go for the area. It's not a concentration spell. I think he gets to use it. <laughs> <laughs> I think he gets to save. So, S Sigurd... Yeah, he does. There's no way to hide this. You can either let the apprentices see you casting it, or you can let Jack see you casting it, depending I'll on which room you cast it in. It. Okay, so you cast it in the back room. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was just... Yeah, exactly. It's just obvious yeah, that you're doing this. Yeah, I'll cast both of them right there. So I'll cast the Zone of Truth and then Detect Poison, and I'll start looking around. Okay, so Zone of Truth kicks in from now. 
detect poison picks up the faintest hint of something below you. Like under the board in the uh, yeah. cellar, maybe. Okay. I will quietly relay that to the party. Preferably yeah. not loud enough for me to hear. No, that's, that's not Impossible. happening. You're in a small room with him. Well, I'll just say, like, yeah, there's some... Uh, You've just cast a spell in front of the man. You can yeah. probably say I don't what you've heard. Uh, I'll 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 speak to him for a few minutes while Sigurd looks yeah, around. Okay. So, you know, ask ask him basically. You know, yeah, is the burning That's... in tampering with his ingredients? Is the burning? Yeah. No, they get the back of my hand if they touch my recipes. No chance that a, a window's been left open or a door left unlocked. Or the poison's been put in your bread. Or perhaps. You what? A dose That's of poison a pretty serious bed. accusation. Mm. Mm. It is. I've, I've been a trusted supplier to this this constabulary for twenty years. Well, it better Which clear is your why name. we thought to come and speak to you about it rather than arriving with irons. Hey, well, you're welcome to look around. Uh, you won't find you anything. Your basement. A cellar, whatever you want to call it. Well, I don't use the cellar. Well, there's something down there. It's too there. damp. Okay, well, it's just over here. He'll kind of walk um, up towards you again down the next aisle of this kind of storeroom. There's only two aisles in the storeroom. And at the far back right corner is um, a trapdoor. There you go. I haven't been down there in years. Just rat poison last time. What you detected was not rat poison. Mm. Uh, can, he, I, can I investigate the trap door? He leans down to open the trap door, and with a heave, he uh, lifts up like floorboard-sized planked trap door. It, it's uh, Quintus. It looks perfectly normal to you. Uh, okay. Does it? Yeah, does it? Like it's got. A, it's not. It's not hidden. It's a ring, like a big iron ring pull on the top. That's. Does it Very kick good. dust as though it has not been opened in a long time? <clears throat> or does it... That just... would require an investigation check, I Yeah, think. gladly. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I think it's that zone of truth is uh, 14. <laughs> to you, it looks like it has been opened more recently than whatever he said. Couple of yeah. years. Yeah. I will just this run my finger along like... where there should be dust and I will not announce that just yet. I was going to jump in. Yeah, th this place has a thin <laughs> layer of uh, has a thin layer of flour. On everything, I'd imagine. Yeah, On sure, pretty yeah. much everything, yeah. Yeah. Um, but there's, yeah. And there's lack of flour on certain angles of the, the ring pole. There's Maybe a build up of flower where the fulcrum of the pivot point is. Shit like that. Y you think this has been used recently? Okay. I jump in the cellar and then I say, It's awful dark down here. Cast light on your hat. Thank you. You're blind. From above. <laughs> From above. <laughs> yeah. I just um, touch his hat and it will illuminate. The hat lights up the same, or the hat lights up the room. Yeah. Like this this rug really pulls the room together. Yeah. The hat yeah. lights up the room <laughs> and it's a room about the same size as above. Yeah. However, this has three bedrolls in it. And nothing else. They look fresh. They look fresh. They're made of a leather. Who and... sleeps down here? You what? Kind of leans down, kind of. Take a look at this. One hand on. Well, oh, give me a second. He uh, reverses fat ass down the stairs, down the little uh, stairs that are built into it. And it. Takes him a minute to get down. He looks around. Oh, it's all this then. What is all this? Kind of lift up one of them. 
What's this? I ain't ever seen these before. You sure about that? I'm positive, mate. Is there it's, any... Uh, Go on. It's weird stuff. Mm. Is there any, like, entrances in the walls or any holes or anything I can see? No, there isn't. Or trapdoors in the floor of this room? <laughs> no, there isn't. Not uh, huh. There... There's probably some stuff in this room. I'd say there's probably shelves on, you know, three or four of the walls and there are old odds and ends, broken tools, knickknacks. Ch chair with three legs. Yeah, like just rubbish and stuff. Mm. You can smell and feel the damp in the air. Um, but Sigurd, your eyes are, or you get a feeling from the, your magic that there's one of these bedrolls might contain the poison. It's in one of these East rolls. So if you do you go down? If yeah. there's yeah, yeah. If there's a bit of broken chair, I think that's something that somebody said, um I will use that to poke the bedrolls. So rather the than bedrolls are yeah, the bread rolls are spread out, as in opened, um, and indeed one of them is, there's a few drops of the poison on it. That's where Sigurd's magic okay. kind of leads like his eyes, there. like something has been spilled there, correct? Well, we should definitely tell him. There's the poison. That's what mm. you're saying. Somebody snuck in here in the middle of the night. I've been living here for a while under my not under right under my nose, and they just poisoned my food. Yeah, what end? Like... That's a bit weird. Mister Jack, the lead which brought us here was that we discovered that a number of guards stationed at entrance points to the city were poisoned recently. To the extent that they lost consciousness and we believe allowed an assassin to escape from the city. This implicates you, Mr. Jack, in a very serious crime, in a very serious matter whatsoever. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Uh Tables back up. Yeah. Okay. It didn't drop for me. Oh, yeah, no, it did kick me out. Okay, fine. Yeah, yeah cool. It, it should just it. Just for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah. Okay. So, you can see him. He takes a step back. And it's like... Theme P2P failed with Gex or some shit. I'm back. Yeah, okay. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Captain, sir, I, I had nothing to do with this. You have to believe me. I, oh, I do. Be... I do, Mr. Jack. I believe you very well. Why you seem like a fine fellow. I didn't know anyone was down here. Mm. I can't but believe be... people were living down here. We're in and out of that storeroom all the time. That, be as it may be, you have been negligent, ignorant perhaps, of goings on beneath your own knows and um, be as it may Mr. Jack you may in fact know more than you believe that you know what? what's now, I'm supposed to mean? I'm sure you understand that this is oh, not the proper primal place for questions such as this uh, would you be so kind as to Accompany us, Mr. Jack. So to where? The, we're going to go to the office of Captain... Captain... What's her name? Ironsong. Oh, She's yeah. laid out a little um, station for us where we can properly take notes. Be sure that these things are well recorded. The um, the due diligence is done, etc., etc. But we may need to have access to certain records. Any list of staffing that you have... As you say, you have given good trust to the uh, the lads under your roof, but it may well be that certain affiliations have not been uncovered. 
Oh, the well, crown does pure, not remain. Mate. He's tapping on his head. Well, I, yeah, of course. He'll, he'll try to reach his arms around his back to undo his uh, apron. And he will... Yeah, after you. I got nothing to hide. I'll tell you something you just need to know. And I'll... I'll make it up to the two guards. Mm, we'll see the I can. Yeah. Be advisable not to make a scene in front of the kids or apprentices yeah. just in case it's without. I yeah, it won't be a we're problem. I'll, I'll, I'll tell Johnny to look after the shop. He's the oldest. Yeah. He knows what he's doing. I think, fellas. And he hasn't lied throughout this yeah. whole time. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I assume so. I think, fellas, one or two of us might stay here, see what turns up. And two of us will go to speak to <coughs> Mr. Jack elsewhere. All right, boss. Sure. All to think, stay. Yeah. Sigurd, you're with me? Yes. Larry and Quintus? Sure. Larry, have a look around, see what there is in the office. Have a good look at the the lock, the mechanism here. See if you can get a sense of um, what yep. kind of leather's being Maybe used, etc., etc. Check the bed rows for any fucking like hair or anything. Exactly. If we can get a locate yep. person. We can uh, find them. Yep. A strand of hair, a single strand of hair would do wonders in the arms of a scrying wizard, for yep. example. Yep. Although, I dare say, these would count as possessions for the... Um, such is my understanding of the spell, at least. Uh, would it work on a locate object? It would have to be so. the same hair as that hair. <laughs> So scrying as a spell, if you've got one of a person's possessions, they get a major disadvantage on the on the save against being scried upon. Um, I know that, that is um, Jed, but it's it's you know, but I assume as reconnaissance soldiers, we would have seen this used. Yes, I would agree with that. Yeah. Uh, although I don't think any of us have got access to that. I don't know if Quintus has the use of scrying yet, or no. at any point, no. yeah. We're not in Japan like right now. Uh, we would have probably dealt with Druid or two. Um, before they... Uh, well, no, I do have clairvoyance, I suppose. It's just yeah. Um, clairvoyance is quite scrying, but yeah, sure, it's... yeah. Uh, yep. I would like to leave um, an auditory sensor inside the bakery and go and set myself up across the road with eyes on the front door. Cool. Okay. Um, like a do you want to? Yeah. Do you want to go and stick out the rear? Maybe is there a rear door? Yeah, if I see there is. There is out of the storeroom into the yard. Sure. Yeah. I'll and uh, I'll, the yard I'll and keep an it. ear on what the uh, the apprentices and whatever are saying. And okay. If I so, need uh, you... Sigurd and Liam escort Jack down to the the nick. Make a loud noise, I guess, Gex. Yep. Because I don't have sounding <laughs> today. Sounding. Yeah. If we so, um, take Jack through to the, not the police station, but, you know, the guard centre or whatever. Yeah, um, yeah, now, my, my, my reasoning with this is simply to try and interrogate the guy um but i realize he might not know too much but i'm wondering if there's anything that we can kind of glean from him as an insight into right well one of his staff actually is um you know known to have traveled not from the city or spends a bit too much time in the forest or um very pale looking elf well, with a well yeah, that's. I mean, that's actually got to be our, our our kind of first port of call, right? Is is talking to him about fairy pale elves. 
I don't doubt this guy's integrity based on what you've told us. Based on, certainly, the, the zone of truth tends to be a powerful weapon in that sense. Exactly. Um, and him not knowing it, what it is. He, so, so yeah. you you question the man for about thirty minutes. He is defensive and proud, and. Uh, seems to run a tight ship. He knows all his apprentices, families, and their goings. He works from very early in the morning before dawn till the afternoon, most days, shuts the bakery past noon. The apprentices all work roughly the same hours, um, except for the youngest, who's like 14. You get a list of names, how long they've been with them, and his um, idea of their circumstances and the families they come from. Yeah. He's not a rich man. Um, any wealthy has is in the bakery, essentially. Um, he is doing better. He tells you, like, just about when the contract started and the blah 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 and he's he expanded he was able to buy the yard out back and blah you know and he was uh he's building the bakery up over several years all the apprentices are like poor come from humble backgrounds he vets them all he makes sure they're all hardworking and have a good work ethic and um, they're all human the lads as is he. He hasn't seen any white elves. He hasn't. He does have elves in the store. He he says he has a line of breads made with white flour, like the whitest stuff that the elves like. And he does some honeys and stuff from a farmer out to the north that he sells a bit to the elves as well. It's the more expensive stuff, but you know, sure, they're all loaded. Uh, there's. You're not getting any bad vibes off him. You think if something was done to this bread, or indeed a batch of dough or something like that, that it was done behind his back. Now whether one of these apprentices aided in this, or was just unwitting in yeah. doing this, um, you cannot discern from this man. But that's what I'm wondering about. Yeah, if there's any apprentice that their story might his story of them might not quite add up if he might have missed something or um... he, he might have but he's on he can only give you his opinion yeah okay. um, the so the there's one lad johnny that he left in charge of the bakery is 21 by right he should be running his own place he's been with him seven years he's a good lad he's hard working no nonsense above board uh, you know, he likes the job, he likes the, he's good with the customers, he has talent himself, doesn't have a bad word to say about him. Hmm. So we start torturing. <laughs> I'm going to make sure that if Captain, if Captain Ironsong's not around, that at least one of the orderlies um, knows what we're doing and what's going on. But also make it clear to them that we don't suspect Jack here of having been um, directly involved in this. He seems to have been exploited and and kind of used it. Right? Yep. Yeah. But that yep. doesn't mean that he's not worth observing. Mm. I would imagine from the fact that they've left. The fact that they've left the bedrolls behind, but little else, it may well be that they've made a quick getaway and, you know, that this station is now burnt. I don't imagine there is another, um, point, you know, target of value here. Yeah. Regardless, if we were to learn what we could. So there is a guard here. Um, um, uh, a tanned elven woman but goes by the name of Lyra and she's uh, she's the one you interact with yeah
that's fine. I can I can let her know where we're at, what we're hoping for. And she, during the conversation, she will say something about the pale elf. You know, she will. Word has gotten around the guards that that this is what they're looking for, just as Captain Vesper um, has As intended said yeah. she would to do. Yeah. And I'll nod and, and say, yeah, that's exactly what we're we're hoping to find out about. Maybe best to keep that place under watch from God over the next few days. Two. From back and front, like Sam. Stake out, motherfucker. Uh, yeah. Well, Lyra, if that <laughs> idea is brought up, Lyra will offer forth or um, Corporal Swiftbrook. She will say, between you and me, the... The majority of the guards here are not exactly subtle. You know, big town like this, uniforms and all that. Mm, You'd want yeah. to talk to Captain Vesper if you wanted somebody to do the job properly, but I wouldn't recommend using the local. Unless they were uh, more specialised. Mm. Now, if these lads really have the honesty that Jack believes them to have, rattling a few hinges, they may have got in over their heads. And if we go and rattle a few hinges, they might come forward. Yes, the other option is, you know, go there, make sure they're all there, lock the back door, lock the front door, zone of truth, and then just ask them, right, is this your bed row? Do you know this? It's not very subtle, but that might be a good way of doing it. Subtlety is not the way Sigurd works. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Sometimes going at a door with a hammer is more going at it with a pick or a lock. I don't disagree. You make a plan, I'm so taking a leak. Yeah. What do you think of that, lads? Well, I mean, presumably, well, we've been staking out, nothing has appeared. Uh, I think, yeah, if we get all of the apprentices in there... Put the fucking fear of God in. Which we can do. Start torturing people. I don't know if literal torture is required, but... Um... It's encouraged. Yeah. Well, also, we could, like... I... I... They have hot I, stuff. I have a class ability that just says I can make someone afraid of me if I can get a minute with them outside of combat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Fair. Um, once per short rest, I, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. I've got a plus eight intimidation, so like, yeah, we can we can definitely scare them. Uh. So like. That's a way of doing it. This is like That's Sigurd's the friend, but... brute force way. Yeah, <laughs> I think this is a situation where we've got a clear. Yeah, let's just bad cop it. Fuck well. it, you know. <laughs> okay. Like we've got um, a clear kind of we've got a closed pool of individuals who might be a lead. Uh, um. We can get them all together quite easily. Or else we could be chasing a red herring and wasting much time. Well, yeah. In which case, let's do it as quickly as we can. Which this is the most yeah. prudent. <coughs> all right. So am I free to go then, gentlemen? Captain? I mean... Ah. You're welcome to return to your business. Oh, thank you. We'll escort you back there. We might ask, though, Mr. Jack. No, it's just Jack. Sir. He called him Mr. Jack. If we, might, if we can have some time speaking to your apprentices, we wouldn't take long. All of them together would be fine. Are they all present today? Are they all in today? They are. Hmm. Well... What time do you close? Perhaps we could keep them for five minutes after closing time. Yeah. Soon enough. We just hope that one it's of them... probably three or four o'clock now. Just one of them so. might have seen something that um, 
just any little detail, you know, could give us a clue, could set us on the path we need. We're not accusing anybody of anything, but you'd be surprised how much people notice without realising. The untrained eye and all that. Not being a military man, you, you mightn't realise. Yeah, sure. Whatever you need. Hmm. I really do appreciate your, uh, your cooperation in this matter, Mr. Jack. We'll walk on back around there. I'll, um... Check that my fellows have eaten. And then, uh, we'll let you lock up. Alright. I think the plan, Gav, is, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna bad cop it. We're gonna, um, get all the apprentices together and hit them with another zone of truth. Does you make your way back to the bakery. Doors are quietly locked at the back while the um, guys are still working. Jack puts on his uh, pack on his apron and he starts ordering the lads to pack some stuff up ready for the morning. Um, covering up today's produce or whatever and the front door gets locked and the, they're all still here. There's um, six, five of them in total. Five in total. Yeah. Um, so Johnny, who was the eldest, the eldest, he's a man in his own right. Then there's Tor, who's about eighteen. Lars, who's about sixteen. And then both Iggy and Marcus are, to your eyes, thirteen or fourteen. Mm. They're all dusty and sweaty. They've been working. No. We appreciate your time, fellas. I'm sure you all work incredibly hard keeping yeah, this sick fed. And my name is Captain Tomuel. These gentlemen work with me, and we are veterans. Currently working on a special envoy in cooperation with uh, Captain Ironsong, who lives here in, in Elmhart. Did you know I myself was born here in Elmhart? So I am, in in some sense, a local fella. Uh, my my accent will not be, uh, will definitely be Verdon rather than, yeah, um, yeah. But what we are here for, it appears that a few guards in the on the east gate near the river crossing got sick after eating a loaf of bread. As Jed is saying this, I'm going to cast the Zone of Truth. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. cool. The two younger... after eating a loaf of bread. The two younger lads get a bit wigged out by casting the magic book. Whatever. Two now, them. my friend Sigurd here, my friend Sigurd is a very religious man. He is on close and good terms with the storm god that we worship up in Verdun. And, you know, the, the folks near the coast are on close terms with he's a hard working fella and all he is doing is he is invoking the storm god here to make sure that whatever is said in this room is the truth and i want you to know lads that you can trust me that you are um you're not in any immediate danger and all i want to know is if any of you have noticed anything if any of you might have seen something amiss over the last few days. Now, John, why don't you start? You know, being the tallest, the oldest, you can set an example to the the younger fellas. Are you aware of anything having gone wrong in the bakery that might make somebody sick over the last few days? No, can't say I have. Everything's been... Well, no offence, Captain, but... This is the strangest thing that's happened in the last few days. While we oh, get question, I'm going to go down and grab those we haven't got them. You're cutting out, Vic. Grab those what? That. Bed rolls. While grab those. Get, grab the bed rows. All right. Down mm. in the basement, if we haven't grabbed them. 
all of them? One of them? The poison one? The not poison uh, one the poison in particular? One. Just the poison. Okay. No, I will wager that it is, John. I realise that I'm disturbing your your hard work and your flow of the day here. I do hope your employer, Mr. Jack, will forgive this intrusion and understand its uh, gravity. Well, uh, yeah. there was an open bag of flour out back, which is a bit odd, because it was full. Full but load. open, and normally we wait till we're in here to open them up, because yeah, it kicks up a bit of the flour around the place, dust and all that. But you didn't see who opened it? And it was no. none of you? No. It's all procedure here. Jack's orders. Mm. Runs it tight ship. We well, yeah. We do everything by the by his book. And uh, normally the sacks I carry the sacks through and he is a big lad. I carry the sacks through. Dump it out for the lads and then Torn Lars here. Mix it all up in the big mixer over there. And uh, then it gets portioned out and then the young ones take care of it from there. Well, any of you then, do you know who opened this sack of flour that was left outside? You, Tor, um, Iggy. No, let me, no. Let me hear all of you say you don't know who it was. Uh, no, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. No, <laughs> Thank no. you, Gav. <laughs> None of them, all of them say they don't know. Yeah. Like, Tor and Lars are kind of Scared of yous. Reasonable. Yeah, uh, or at least apprehensive. And the two younger ones are like, their eyes are darting between Jack and Johnny and like, and yourselves and the magic man who is doing magic in their fucking kitchen yeah. for the first time. <laughs> like, you know, they're, they're like genuinely worried. Yeah. But they're worried. Yeah. You can tell just by their demeanor. They're, they're worried by them. They're worried that they've, broken some rule they're not even aware that exists you know what i mean it's like oh my god i've done i've done something wrong what is it jack's gonna kill us i will lean down close to one of these lads and say now my boy if you're telling the truth you have nothing to worry about and i do know when you are telling the truth so believe me you've got nothing to worry about yeah i am mister and uh like we worship uh, storm god too my old man says it is good for the farm he is. That itself is very true. That itself is very true. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be lying. I, no, I, I ain't lying. If I were to tell you, lads, that what you're doing here is helping to right a great wrong, you may have heard about the very sad and unfortunate death of your Lord Goldenshaw and his kids. You know, and his mm. children, younger than... His cunt fucking kids. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. You what? Interrupt, Jack. You think my bread poisoned the old man? I do not, Mr. Jack. We do not think. We know for a fact. No, it didn't poison him. I believe, But I do believe that the poisoning of the bread enabled the escape... Oh, sorry, yeah. ...of the interloping assassin. And I do not believe, Mr. Jack, that you yourself were a suspect... Nor do I believe that any of your lovely baker boys here were willingly accomplices. Unless any of you can tell me why this oh. is under the floorboards. And I will point then to the bedroll that Sigurd is holding. So the bedroll, now that it's up, well, it was in light before. But the bedroll's up, made of an animal hide. It's been scraped and cured. It's more like leather it looks particularly uncomfortable and a bit strange um to your eyes you know of no culture or uh what's the word you don't know of a culture that w that has something like this yeah it looks very alien to you you can tell by its treatments that it's also waterproof mm. And it has a it has a leather-ish smell, but it's kind of funny as well, different. And that's not just yeah. because of the poison drops on it. 
Yeah. So you'll go, no, well, like, no, what's that? Like, just, I've never seen that before. It you was more well, fucking off. one of yours. <laughs> well, fellas. And I'll nod and look around to them. So, gentlemen, let this be a lesson in vigilance. The enemy can be under our floorboards, poisoning our food. And we might not know it. They might be drinking in taverns with us, passing themselves off as good neighbours. Or secretly... barks up and says, It's just these fucking wizards from down south. It may well be, young lad. It may well be. Now... I'm surprised Sam didn't go, good boy. As of yet, we've no... We've no reason to believe that it is anything other than Imabadi incursions, as we know Lord Golden Shaw made a great number of enemies in his many victories during the war. But the enemy can come from any direction whatsoever. From the sky or the river. Lads. Be vigilant. Mr. Jack, I suggest... You institute... Quality control procedures. Uh, there are other threats... Than deliberately placed poison coming from contaminated grain. Uh, Oh, got poisoning and the like, I'm sure you're well aware of, but... Yeah, I know John, that. I'm John smart. here bringing in a Bought bag of like... contaminated flour. Our grain just comes from a mile away. The farm's mm. up north. In fact, uh, Iggy's dad is a, is a grain farmer. And over the course of a mile, every step is an opportunity for tampering, poisoning... And the disruption of good health. It yeah, would surely we'd smell it. Working the dough. Ah. Is that right? Well, I don't know anything about poisons. What's it smell like? Do we have the, the loaf of bread? <clears throat> you do. Yes. I will um, gesture oh, yeah. to, I think it was Sigurd had it last. Uh, Quintus had it last. Here's the bread. Uh, either one of us. Yeah. Here you go. All right. So he looks at it and he goes, well, yeah, that, that's one of ours. You can tell by the four marks on the top here. Like, you know, the score marks on the top of baked yeah. bread. Yep. Yeah. Um, uh, I will discourage Mr. Jack taking a bite, but do take a sniff. He holds it up to right up to his nose. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's off. That's it. Uh, he gives it a squeeze. That's like three days old now. Mm. And eaten three days ago. Surely. Surely. But. As you say. Contaminated sometime before that, at the point of baking. We've no doubt. Johnny pipes up here and says, Oh, that's when I found the bag. That was four days ago. Mm. So that bag was poisoned, you see. But we must I have did. made. We must have made like a hundred loaves from that. That means a hundred people got poisoned. Maybe five hundred people. And Don't worry, it wasn't if, sleep poison. If they are lucky, the worst that has come of them I don't is think an early the night of sleep. bag was poisoned. I think is... that uh, someone broke in, slept under the floor, waited for a chance to bake their own bread while adding poison to it and then you know leaving it where it would be taken or taking it themselves and putting it into the... oh, well my all with all due respect Mr. Uh, uh, pre, pre, priest well, I don't know what your name is uh, Jack says it's like, how would they know how to bake my bread? 
Well, that means you would have did it. Well, I didn't. You know that. And You've used your magic. Unknowingly. Indeed, Mr. Jack, it does place you firmly in the sights of having unwittingly, it may be, mm. bake the bread that poisoned the guards that allowed the assassins to escape. But then the poison would be added to the flour, the sack. Indeed. So it should have poisoned many more than just the reason i don't believe it was added to the sack is because it didn't show up when i might detect the poison True. Hmm. well no that sack would have been used days ago we, yeah, they, they, they go through a couple of sacks a day like yeah they're doing monster batches there's, there's bowls three feet across in here yeah. Oh, is it an empty sack? Dude? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, what happened was there was an open sack in the storeroom. So normally the apprentices have all been ordered to take a closed sack from the storeroom, open it in the kitchens, and then begin working with it. So you're right. In theory, somebody could have baked a loaf of bread with the poison and then hid that baked loaf amongst other loaves or whatever this bread is this bread is undeniably baked by jack's bakery it's undeniably looks like it's been baked by jack's yeah. bakery yeah. and the other thing is you know 50 or 100 loaves of poison bread could have been made yeah and and if the people who've eaten them were lucky all they've had is an early bedtime correct but surely so, they would you know, have come back going nuts because they'd realize. Uh, well, how would they know? Depends don't on come, the effects of the poison. Go, go to the bakery and say, oh, I felt a bit sleepy after eating your bread yesterday. You've got to give me my money back. <laughs> One of that'd be a the guards did that. say he felt a little off. Opposed to just off fell asleep. Mm. But... That is correct. You wouldn't complain if you ate a sandwich and fell asleep. Typically. Yeah, it's a what if I wasn't tired? Again. If I was like straight up fully awake, you know, middle of the fucking day, and then I'm eating some bread. And... <laughs> yeah. It depends how quick it kicks it in. <laughs> it's like if it, if it takes half an hour and you just go, oh, maybe I'll go back to bed. You know, that type of thing. Who knows? Uh, you you don't know enough about this poison to really talk about it with any authority. Mm. So, like, can we go now, sir? Says Johnny. I'll look around to the the rest of the team, but I don't think we need anything more. I'll shrug. Yeah. Yeah, definite shrug. All right. Let this let's be a lesson in vigilance on the cunning of the enemy and the need of concern, caution, and consistency in our security matters. And what we do to keep the people safe. So it was you like, are... we're not over yet. Thought it was finished when the king died. Asks Johnny. The wound may close. But the scars persist. Points that hurt. On and on and on for years. All right. So, like, watch out for those foreigners. Watch out for foreigners is one lesson you may take away from this. Yeah. Yes, young man. It's a lesson to teach the kids. Yeah. Jingoism. But in any right. case... Lads, be off with you. Normal day tomorrow. Back to normal. We'll see us here at three. And uh, 
he'll kind of hold out his hand asking for his keys back and he'll go over if they're given to him and open the front yep. door absolutely Johnny I want you to walk the two young ones home right your boss mm -hmm. they all kind of head out So Mr. Jack, I, I appreciate yeah. your time and your cooperation on this matter. Well, anything we can do to help the Crown? Mm. I advise asking your locals or regulars if any of them had any ill effects from spread a few days ago. Oh, yeah, yeah of course. Is own truth still up? Uh, how mm. long have we been talking to him? I want to say you've been talking to the apprentices. Well, hang on, you cast on a troop before leaving for the police station, so like... No, he's I've cast it again cast since, isn't he, see? So. so I'd say you've been talking to the lot of them for, what, ten minutes? Okay, yeah. so it would just be running out if it's, like, ten minutes. Okay, and just as he said, of course I'll do that, you get a lie out of him, and the spell dr you feel the spell drop. You're asking him to... If, essentially tell his customers that he's poisoned them. And his, his pride won't allow that. Either you ask, or I will. No, oh, I said I'll ask. I will. I will ask. You can always have the guards in here asking your customers. I think that would look even better. Well, I'm sure if my customers have had any ill effects, I'll be the first one to hear about it. Mr. Just Jack. so we know. Your safety is obviously important. Think I'm in danger. What about the lads? I would suggest this? closing up that cellar. Three. Yeah. Pretend that you did not find those bedrolls. Change the locks. Put this one back. What, nail up the cellar? Mm. Or just move something on top of it? What do you want me to do? That is a fine suggestion. But it didn't get in through the cellar, did they? Broke in through the door somehow or window. And then Ooh. lived down there for two, three days. Took their chance. <laughs> that is. Well, I'll nail it up if that's what you want me to do. Like I said, don't use the place. I can put that bedroll back down there, like where we saw it when we first found them. I don't know if there's anything else you no, want me to I do. I think we'll take the bedroll. Evidence. You, you're going to take all three of them with you? Uh, Take at least one. But yeah, or maybe take all three. Yeah. Yeah, take all three for them. Well, uh... uh. Right. Well, yeah. as you okay. say, Captain, I'll do that right now. The locks might take a few days to get changed, though. We wish you every safety. And prosperity going forward. Right. Well, best of luck. Hope you catch these guys. Oh, we will. Yep. Yeah. And I'm not to him, and that's about the best we can do, isn't it? And he'll go off to look for tools, hammer, and nails. So, what was the decision on the bedrolls? All one? Yeah, take, take three of them. Yeah. 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 Okay, so you roll them up. Curve. So if we have, we know where they are. You locate object on something similar, then get a false positive. Yeah, you roll them up and uh, mark the one with some chalk. That uh... yeah, that has the poison on it. Huh. All right. So it's it's early evening now. Um, any plans? Hmm. Doesn't seem to be a huge amount to go on. Lads, I think no. this trail is cold. Yep. We report what we know back to Iron Song. 
And yeah. um, well, <gasps> maybe he knows something about these uh, strange bedrolls. We'll report what we know, and then personally, I'm itching to get the fuck out of this town. We'll ride an hour north and we'll camp, eh? Mm. Yeah. Sounds cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think we need to pay for another. Look at that. We can spend another night in the in the Gilded Griffin if we want, but. I don't think that's the. Have we definitely exhausted everything in this town, though? Oh no. You just you just don't want to be here. I get it. It's a show. Yeah. That's not... No, it is. <sighs> <sighs> Well, on your orders, Captain. <laughs> Larry, I realise we placed you in a, an uncomfortable position remaining here, and I want to. Uh, it's fine. Yeah. So, what's the plan? The Griffin or outside? Um... I think we're going to ride and camp. Uh, yeah, we'll like ride, camping. We'll, we'll camping ride an hour or so further north and we'll, we'll, we'll camp under some, <sighs> under some trees. Have a fire. All right. You uh, you leave town, seeing the guards you chatted to earlier. Yeah. Um, you ride through the Vicus, the little town outside the main new town. And... Uh, after about 45 minutes, you find a spot that looks good enough. Can I get perception checks from everyone, please? Sixteen. Twenty-three. <laughs> uh, I went out with the two. Oh, wait, no. Uh, Nineteen for me. Oh, shit. Um, I got loads of perception. <laughs> oh, eight. Okay. What was the highest? 23. Maybe. There it is. Oh. The arsky blows. A one and a two. Who else oh. rolled high? I got... Uh... Or who rolled? Who fucked up? Who I got nineteen. I I, okay. I got like a like an eight, okay. a nine I think total. Yeah. Quintus. And okay, so anyone who broke ten, you can you're writing out, and you're having a chat. And whoever's last in line on the horse, somebody who's up front, uh, Larry, you you turn around, call back to Sigurd who's behind the last man. And um, you're chatting to him. And as you turn around, you see a dark smudge in this low light just disappear behind a hill. As in a head, just ducking down. Something's You're approaching the site you can see in front of you. Mm. Lovely. Which would have been your... Looks like a good campsite. Uh, yeah. It would have been your campsite, all right, yeah. Why can't I pick this object up? Is it under the table? Uh, it's locked. It's not. Oh, uh, yeah, of course that happened. Uh, <laughs> yes, what the fuck? Fuck. Grab your dudes. Yeah, okay. Drop it. It's locked. Okay. Can you Beautiful. can you clone my my dude? Sorry. Yeah. 
Because yeah, for some reason I've got, loads of, I've got loads of numbers on mine that are annoying me. Uh, I don't know. Where's he gone? I think he's gone in your zone. I can't see him. Can't can't your void. Oh, I see him. Okay. Yeah. yeah, can you collect him, please? I assume this was a failed attempt at making hit points work or something. Wait, what? Didn't dick with hit points this turn at all. Uh, my this, my character yeah. has a resource name ten plus minus is written all over this one. <laughs> okay, yeah, so he it. does. Yeah, oh, and in yeah. fact, the word resources has disappeared off this little card. <laughs> what the fuck? It's it's here. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, they must have somehow attached like themselves locked to it together. <laughs> anyway, who cares? It wasn't me. Thank you. Okay. So. Um, but we're camping, is it? This is the spot you were approaching, and as you were approaching, like, you know, some, uh, Larry turned around and said, hey, this looks like a good spot. And then he sees up over the hill to the to the south, uh, blah, 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 wherever, that this shape disappear. I saw a shape. <laughs> um. Basically, you saw a shape there. We's a being a watch, boys. And you are, I'm going to say, like, yeah. Larry was up front. Somebody's, can you name your minis, please? And we had Sigurd in the back. So that's Sigurd, and that's the rest of us. Mine's just Sam on it. And you were on horseback at the moment. And this guy is now hidden, but yeah. It looks like you've picked up a tail leaving town. A lot of that going around. Lures then? What? What we'll do is we will make up our beds. Put our bags in our beds, hats on top of them, and then uh, set up in those bushes over there. Cheeky. It'll mean being cold for a little bit. But no I'm tired and could do with an early night's sleep, to be honest, fellas. Sure. No food for me. Well, we're away from town now. We don't need to leave a watch. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. So you pull up, tie up the horses under the trees and begin to set up camp. You skip building a fire. Just roll out some bedrolls. Let's build, let's build a fire. Uh, I'm going to go and get some more sticks from over here and I will yeah. Place quietly yourselves where you want to, to be. conceal myself over here but we'll have a bit of a fire going um, my intent being that, that you know whatever's there will be easier to see again if anything does approach uh, although I realise it'll make it maybe harder to see past there it's now 7 8 9 p.m. getting it's, it's dark enough here under the trees it's, you can still see when you're out from them uh, if you guys want to place yourselves where you are in the camp and place your fire as the red token, wherever you would like to set that up. Is this sit in the clearing? Red token here. Oh, no, no. But you, did you miss the point of hiding, making it look like we were sleeping? Yeah, absolutely. And then sneaking and so, away. Yes, I There's also two red tokens, so yeah. I'm getting rid of them. I got rid of both of them. And um, I want a blue token. For... And you're putting the fire in the thing, but you're all in the forest. So we are making it look like we're sleeping here. Okay. Well, I guess not, right? I guess if we set the fire here. Yeah, no, just and we'll position bushes. ourselves, and then we'll so they're, move back. They're not bushes, they're trees. <laughs> yeah, there is fine. undergrowth, but 
but yeah. they're trees. Yeah. Uh, Twenty. This kind of uh, <laughs> this line of shit here is. I'm gonna say twenty feet of steep, uneven ground. Difficult terrain, you might say. I have taken my cloak off and left it with the crap. Yeah. My arm is black, so. I have uh, removed my greaves. I am now counting as wearing a breastplate only. And I have reflected it on my sheet. Okay. So if we if we position bags and cloaks and things like that to make it look like we're sleeping like this, maybe doing that before we actually set the fire, hmm. then getting the fire going, and whichever one of us is best at sneaking, whom I think I know who that will be, can be the person that sets the fire and then moves away. Well, that yep. doesn't have advantage on it anymore. So. I like fire. So and yeah. So the fire is set and people... Um, you set up the trap. Can I get... Can I get a stealth roll from the person who's the stealthiest? I'm lighting the fire. I'm stealthing. Yeah. What's the roll? I'll give you a bardic inspiration as well. Okay, Just well, uh, I got 12. <laughs> there, roll a... Hmm? Uh, 15. <clears throat> well, holy crap, I'm fucking rolling shit tonight. I rolled a 2 on that. <laughs> yeah, 15 from a roll of 2 is... Uh... Yeah. This Not bad. Yeah. Okay. Um, you disappear into places of cover, deeper into the forest, behind rocks, in a crouched position, and you wait. The heat of the day slowly fades. The night birds come out or singing in this copse of trees. The sun goes down and it is now dark. Stars and moon light the ground. But the shadows are <clears throat> evident. Can I get perception checks from everyone, please? Yeah. If thou get any advantage for being able to see in the dark, do I get you do not get dis not? You... So you get advantage if you have an ability that allows you to see in the that dark. Caught or not? Well, that's a good advantage, right? So, flat roll for me is uh, 18. 14. I'm rolling averagely very low today. Yeah, 14 for myself as well. Uh, Perception. 19 19 again. 18 for me. No, that's. Well, it is cocked, but it's on the board. I'll count it. 19. Okay. Gex, yeah. where is you, Gex, and Sigurd? Yes, you're in perfect position. So, Sigurd, you're looking south, south being the GM position on the table. Uh, Sigurd and, and Laurent are looking south, and they, uh, you see a scramble, a bit of a shadow, but you hear a few rocks slide. You're fairly sure there's movement. About 50 feet to the south. Hmm. I see stuff. Give us initiative rolls. Uh, 20. Put myself there. And yeah, plop your places on the board. Uh, uh, 13. All right. 
you think the attack is about to happen. What do you plan to do? Um, shoot. It is. Leams go. I th- so, we're creating a trap. Um, but I think what I'd like to do... Give me a second. I'm reading the description of a spell really quickly. Um... Well, it's possibly too early. I think we're just waiting, aren't we, for a, yeah. to yeah. work close. So I'm going to cast Minor Illusion um, more closely on my sleeping bag to make it look like... Yeah, to, to make it... Let's say I'll, I'll, I'll cast the sound of... I'll make the sound of us all snoring using the Minor Illusion. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Um, yeah, um... Yeah, that doesn't require any sound on my behalf, but I can I can kind of intensify the the, the sleepiness. Uh, yeah, uh, so that's my my action, and I'm just gonna kind of wait in cover. In Larry, uh, I will shoot if attack if one of us is directly attacked. Not if you see a bad guy. Only if I don't know they're bad guys. No, you don't. Okay. Cautious. Yep. Sam? Uh, likewise, but spell. So okay. Practice spell. And Sigurd? Well, I don't actually have like a charge ability. So. <laughs> So you're prepping an action to what? Move towards. I'll walk up to him and smack him in the head if possible. If they're an enemy. Can you do that? I think you can't move as a reaction. No. Um, Yeah. So again, you can. Cast a spell. Yeah. Do you have Do you have any buffs? Do you have bless or anything like that? Uh, no, because we haven't rested since the city. Yeah, okay. And all my shit was uh, detecting and whatnot. Yeah, of course. Okay, on, then on initiative 10, to the south, Loron and Sigurd, and those two only, see a, move, a blur of movement as a black and white shape breaks from behind cover either side of a rock and sprints forward. We got five... 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Okay, gets it there. And then this one is 5, 10, 15, 20, 30. And with the crossbow, takes a shot at Laurent. Bastard. Bastard. Well, okay. Shoot me. If you dare. Shoot me? Yep. I'm just reading over the oh, okay. powers these dudes have. Oh, God. Um, that doesn't sound good. This guy is going to not shoot you. He's going to cast darkness. Ah. As they're, they want to do. Um, A blanket of darkness that is. So you wouldn't do his favor and somebody look up the spell real quick. Uh, yeah. Is it 20 square feet? Darkness spell, fifth edition. It is a fifteen foot sphere. Fifteen foot radius sphere. Fifteen foot radius. So he is going to Thirty foot across, yeah. Oh great, it doesn't do it from the center, it does it from the fucking Yeah. Uh so one, two, three, four, five, six. What's that, sorry? Uh, 10, oh, 15. I've on my phone. Yeah. 5, 10, 15. 5, 10, 15. Yeah, it's, it's darkness, Sam. Who cast that? They did. This sucker. One of them. Uh, Sigurd, Ron, as you're approaching, you see a clearly definite female elf. You see just 
the flash of eyes and pale white skin, mostly enshrouded beneath black clothing. You saw a crossbow. You saw a long, wicked blade. And that is it before the lights just went and turned out. Okay. They have finished their movements. Back to the top of the round. Liam. Okay. Um, I've got a sense of them having having been by. And a sense of where they are, at least. I, uh, I'm going to look up the spell. The spell... No, you has don't. A, the spell has a verbal component, so he will have had to say something in order to cast it. Okay, and you're... Say, I don't need to be able to see him. Away. Yeah, so you heard a muttering, I would say, to yeah. the south, and then it, everything went black. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna string my lute and um, play a discordant melody that only one creature of my choice within range can hear. I don't need to be able to see him. Um, and I would like. I'm casting dissonant whispers, so I would like him to. Make uh, what is save is this? It's a wisdom save, please. Oh. Uh, yeah. Fuck's sake, Stan. Let me move these ones out the way. Yeah. 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 Thank you. He fails his wisdom save. It's a DC sixteen, so. Yeah, totally fails it. Okay. Cool. Um. Give me a sec. I'm going to roll is some damage. A, is it a charmed or frightened it is, ability? It is. Give me. Probably. I don't not. think it. I don't think it is frightened. I used this one before, but. Cool. It's three, okay. Three d six psychic damage, and it must immediately use its reaction to move as far away from me as its speed allows. Which one are you choosing? Um, the one that cast darkness. The one that made a noise. Okay. So this is for damage. I'm check is it? Ten. And then it makes a concentration save. Yeah. So ten points of psychic damage. Damage done. Um then it makes a concentration save, so DC will be ten for that. Passes. Yep, cool. And then it moves as far away from me using its using its reaction as its movement allows. So he's already moved this turn. No, he yeah, it's a I. New turn. Uh, and I don't know. Yeah. Um, whether what that means, it uses its reaction to move as far as its speed so away. At, yeah. Because they are the rogue. What is going on? Oh, the uh, fucking glitch again. I duplicated a goddamn token or renamed a token. Yeah. Fucking these bowls, man. Didn't we get rid of them? Yeah, we did, but it was obviously an old save. Okay, um, so he is, a, he is a rogue, so he has movement. So, one, two, three, four, five, six... Move is thirty feet. Yeah, um, so he he flees the scene, and I'm also gonna move. That's my action is to cast that. I'm also gonna move. Um, I assume I can go kind of off the board slightly. Yeah, if you like. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna stay. I presume I, I'll reach the edge of the darkness here, stick my head out of it slightly, and then tuck myself back into it. I've got the darkness sorted. Don't worry. You witness the. Uh, you see the back cloak billowing. Yeah. As cool. the guy or lady flees. 
Good, because I've got a plan as well. Yeah, you're after me, so it will be gone by your time. Um, and then as a bonus action, I think I know where Larry is, so I'm going to give Larry a bardic inspiration. Um, cool. Use on his turn as he likes. I'm running out of those, but that's okay. Thank you. And it's Larry's turn now. Yep. Um, I can't see shit. <laughs> Uh, so well, well, I I can't see shit. I'm gonna hide. <laughs> Gives a stealth check with disadvantage because you can't actually see. Yeah, you could <laughs> just be standing upright in the darkness. Yeah. Well, it's <laughs> probably gonna be it's probably gonna be that thirteen. Okay, that's disadvantage. Yep, three and a ten, okay, cool. uh, plus ten. Cool. You find a, a um. Where is Larry? So, Shiny in King. order to hide, you're going to have to move, Larry. Yeah. Um, you remember standing near a tree. I was standing here. He did okay. move. Okay. So what yeah, you do so is I you're moved. going to you're going to move on, and you can feel the bed the uh, bed roll. Okay. And in your opinion, that's the best place to hide. And actually, just hide in the fake in the fake bed roll. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, but you but you can also feel the rock in front of you. It's it's tall enough. Okay. You crouch down behind it. That's fine. Yeah. <sighs> After Larry is Sam. I'm going Quint to cast doing? Dispel Magic. Oh. Goodbye, darkness. That seems the like darkness. the first time we ever use that spell, I think. That's a good yeah, idea. Instantly, the darkness vanishes. Yep. Uh, can, I, can I see this guy? An oh, elf. Right there. Ooh, an elf. Brilliant. Where is Sam? Sam is <laughs> walked straight at the elf. Okay. Um, you approach uh, the elf. That is Minor Turn. And... Okay. Oh, yeah, darkness uh, is a dead level spell, isn't it? Yeah, sure. It's, yeah. Cigarette. Second level, London. Second level, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's an elf there, elf there, elf there, yeah. Is yep. this, this is the pale one, I think, isn't it, over there? Yeah, no, they're all pale. Oh, they're all pale. They're all white. Didn't get okay. Shredded in black. Uh, one, two. <sighs> yeah, right. And I'm going to take a swing with my great sword. Plus seven. Shit, nine. Nine points. What did you roll to hit? Oh. Yeah, Couldn't nine. Have. Nine, okay. This thing is like fucking water in space. Be like water. It totally dodges. You have an extra attack? Yep. Mm. And that one is 17. Not so lucky, punk, I think. Let me just check. 17 yeah. on... This guy, yes, he has an AC of 17. That hits. Do you have to okay. beat AC? Jesus. Brain. Reach. Um, it's you me. just reach it. Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so... uh, That is 2d6 plus 4. 3. Yeah, so that's 8 damage. Got some D6. Just use a roller or a thing if you can't find your dice. No, I'm clicking it. It's not. Yeah, mine took oh. a moment. Uh, try it again, I guess, but. Ooh. Yeah. Here, there's, some... One dice. there's some metal dice, Sile. Uh... I don't think you can color them, Vic, but. Oh, that's a terrible roll. Give me a total. <laughs> uh, is six seven and i'm gonna use my last spell slot 
to cast as a bonus action, I think it is, Divine Smite. Divine Smite doesn't mm-hmm. even use your bonus action, you can just do it, yeah. Yep, uh, cast Divine attack. Smite at level 1 for 2d8. Yeah, 2d8 oh. fucking radiant damage. You got purples there. <laughs> for another three. <laughs> nice. Three. So that okay. is, yeah, like 10 damage or whatever. Like yeah. Done. Okay. And it's their turn. So the guy that had dissonant whispers cast on him, is that a. It's over now, I think. I it's know, I think, it's, okay. I think it's over by now. Uh. No, hang on a minute. No, I'm concentrating for, on it for a minute. So he can st- he can move, but um, at the end of his turn, he can he can he has to make the wisdom save again. Does he have to run for his turn? I don't think so. At okay. the end of each of its turns, and the, and each time it takes damage, the target can make another wisdom saving throw. No, no, I'm reading the wrong fucking spell. Sorry. Yeah. Um. No, Distant Whispers isn't concentration, it has no persistent effect. So, yeah. Cool, okay. So, it circles around the other side of the rock, yeah. and it casts... No, that was the one that cast Darkness before, so it doesn't yeah. do it again. It makes a crossbow attack. It produces this light, spidery design crossbow, and takes a shot at Leem. I mean, I see a 15. Look at that fucking dice, the way it stopped. For fuck's sake, tabletop. <laughs> yeah. It definitely hits. Yeah, sure, yeah. Um, wait, at 23, it does seven points of piercing damage. Cool. And you must give us a con saving throw, DC 13, please. I, I'm immune to being put to sleep by magic, but I'll... um. Oh, you poison. poisoned. Yeah, yes. sure, yeah. You said seven point. How many points of damage? Seven. And a con save. Really good at these. Yeah, fail. You fail at it. However, nice. I just read the rest of it, and it says it's a sleeping poison. So give us another dice roll. Considering this is now at advantage, this is your advantage dice. Reroll. Yeah. So I'm I'm immune to being put to sleep by magic. Oh, sorry, immune. Okay. Nice. Yeah. You can yeah. feel you can feel no, some yeah. sort of effect, but you know it won't affect you. Yeah. So it was the seven damage. It has. One attack? It's very strange. It's got fucking three short sword attacks. But it seems like it's only got one with a crossbow. Okay. And and then it's going to make another con save, was it? Or no, it doesn't have to make another save. It doesn't oh, have to it's not save. persistence. So, yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I misread. I was reading In a different In that case, it's going back. to use the last of its movement just to... One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, it's going to move up to there. The one beside Sigurd. I think I fucked. Got is going to call is going to cast darkness and then disengage okay so so again it's uh putting out a sphere that is going to be one two three Fuck's sake four five six so i could have rewrote my damage my one, is going to disengage. one two three Four, five, six, beside its mate. And then the last of them is going to attack Quintus. Uh, 16s, Gav. 16s, okay. It misses with its first attack. Does that hit? That might hit. It. 
16, so that hits. Um, Is it a disadvantage because of darkness? Believe it or not, this one isn't. Okay. Not only does it have dark vision, it has blind sight. Can I have a DC 15 dex save? For it hitting you? Why? Yep. Because uh, I have a reaction to do damage back as a storm cleric. Cool. Uh, DC 16 dex save, you say? 15, yeah. 15. It rolls a 35. Look 32. at that. A notch 20 with a plus 12 on its deck save. Um, and one of the damages. It's half of this. So. It hits with nine piercing damage and 17 poison damage. <coughs> DC 15 constitution save. Is this throw. sleep again? Not is this, this sleep. Not this one. Okay, um, so you got seven damage back. Uh, what was it, DC? It was DC 15. Seven damage uh -huh. noted. 14. You take 14 I... damage. Oh, you rolled a 14. So yeah, you're, <laughs> you're taking 17 damage. It's good that you didn't fail it miserably and just close. Um. You're not unconscious, but you can feel a, cor a poison course through your veins. Um, and you are going to be poisoned for one hour. This is not the sleeping one. No. It okay. will be disadvantage on all attack rolls. That's okay, I don't do that. <clears throat> um, <sighs> sorry, there was something else I said there. What was it? DC, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, I think that's it. It will then use its bonus action to disengage. Sucker. Are you out of bardic inspiration, Jed? Oh, you can't see. I'm, I've got one left, but yeah, I can't see. Um, I still have one. This. this is a hide roll. 16 plus its... Fucking loads, yeah. Of, yeah, 30, 28. This guy's just vanished into the shadows, the dark red one. Um, not that anyone can see him anyway. And then top of the round. All right. Slim. Okay. You um, can see this orb of fucking ink, like just floating. Yeah. Obscuring all your allies. Can I see the individual? So it was this individual that cast it this time? It was, yes. Yeah, okay. Um, you can see both of the black guys, but not the dark red guy. That's fine. Um, or, unless you make a perception check. I will. 28, yeah. Don't think I'm capable of that. Um, our number three here, then, I will look at her and just trying a couple of chords on my, on my loot. I'm inviting her to make a wisdom saving throw as I cast Tasha's Hideous Laughter. She has a wisdom save of plus four. She fails. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it's a 16 DC again. Um, she bursts into laughter. Fitted laughing. Doesn't take any damage, but is um, prone. Incapacitated, unable to stand um, while I'm concentrating on this spell. So, no, actually, not ten. She drops down into the high pitched cackle and starts yeah. just rolling on the ground. You can see her ally, another female drow, to her, your left, uh, number one, I think. No, number three. Number two. Um, just yeah. look around and the, the scorn and disgust in her eyes. I'm just checking whether incapacitated as a condition affects concentration on a spell. Okay. We can go uh, on to another person, though, or do you want to move as well? I I will move. Um... Behind you, there is cover in the center of that tree. If you are incapacitated, you lose concentration on spells. That's the concentration rule. Uh, so concentration on darkness would drop. 
Oh, it was number three you cast it on. Apologies, yeah. not number two. Yes. Now, my intent was to hit number yeah, three. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I met, yeah. just had that wrong on my head. Cool. Darkness vanishes. Oh, thank fuck. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the, the one that cast darkness most recently is rolling around on the ground laughing. I'm just making absolutely certain... Yeah, and then I'm going to move further back into the trees. Hopefully I've got some cover here. I'm not intending to be hidden, but I'm cover maybe from crossbow bolts because I've got to concentrate on that spell then. Um, I'll give you a plus two AC. Yeah, that's fine. Partial yeah. cover. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, Sling Slurry. Have, oh. Have I hidden? I, I hid in the dark. You think you're you hidden? You hid in the dark and you were behind that rock. Let me just... You know what? You're actually co fully covered behind that rock. You are okay, hidden. Okay, uh, yes. I'm going to shoot... Uh, which which one's prone, the brown one? This one's prone, but you'd get disadvantage on shooting at a prone character, whereas yeah, this yeah, one yeah. is... Yeah, I'll just shoot number two. Uh, a lot. Hits. Uh, a lot usually hits. Oh, well, it's 22. So, oh boy. All right, so one of these. Wait, is it? No, it's a six. Sorry. I should have been ready for this. It's 46. It's 46, yeah. <laughs> when does that go up? Probably next level. Well, in a while. 19. Damage. Number two. Number two takes a bolt clean into the gut or a whatever you're using. Is it a bolt or a crossbow or is it? It's a, a short bolt? bow, so it is an arrow. Short bow, so the arrow, yeah. Cl slices clean into her. Cool, and I will take a cunning action to hide again. Give us a stealth check. Yes, yes, yes. That's going to be... 28. <laughs> 28? Yep. Yeah, okay. <laughs> You're good. I You're cease good. to exist. Yeah, you re-roll a new character. Okay, yep. the two uh, guys in black can't see you. The dark red guy, you can't see it. So, yeah, whatever. You're gone. After Larry... Sam, well, that'd be me. Uh, I would like to cast a fourth level, third level, last third shot, shatter on yeah. this guy, hitting all three of them. All faithful. Uh, even though I can't see that one, it's still going to hit the three of them. And I'm going to use my limited use of power oh. of a channel divinity to uh, where is it? Destructive Wrath. Uh, it does oh, maximum yeah. damage, so they all take 32 damage. Damn. Hell up. Up. Oh. And what does Shatter do, Sam? Goes boom. Um, it goes boom, yeah. It is a does very it loud... Does weapons? Does it break their armor? Does it... It's just a very, very loud thunder spell that does lots of damage. Okay. Yeah. Kind of... Okay. It's a big boom. Let's do maths. <laughs> Number two is looking fucked. Okay. 32. Number three, upon taking damage, will get another wisdom save, but... 32, you can say. That's... that's... Uh, number three looks pretty fucked as well. Um, and we'll take a wisdom save. And rolls a one. So... It finds it very funny. Finds it hilarious that this is happening. Where we plan so much. We're trained killers. Oh my god, it's hilarious. We fucked up so bad. Um... And then it's their turn. No, uh, no, it's Mago. Oh, sorry. Motherfucker. Sigurd, <laughs> go for it. I uh, do think we should try to take one alive, if possible. Uh, so Let's I'm keep this one laughing then, huh? March forward. Uh, and then when I get to there, I'm going to cast my hey, harness. Give... Dev I'm going to use my bonus act. Give us a perception check before you do anything. Oh, 
That's boring. Okay, never mind. You can only see two and three. Fine. Uh, yeah, I'm going to harness my divine power and restore a level two second spell. Does that take an action? No, it's a bonus action. Cool, okay. And then I'm going to march forward over towards Mate Use Lafton. Okay, let's see when I get like here ish, you know? Yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to grab him by the ankle and start dragging him back the other way. Okay, don't think you've any movement left. No, but give, my action is um... to grab him by the ankle. Yeah, well, he's unconscious, but he's on the ground, whatever. Yeah, okay, we'll give you that. It's a grapple, but you win it. You grab him by the ankle. Okay. Then it's their go. I Number assume one. the incapacitated rule means you. it's just like you can do that for all intents and purposes. In I don't know. Context. There's also some weird shit about getting disadvantage. <laughs> so that's why I just didn't bother yeah, with the rule and just said, fuck it, get it. Um, out from behind this rock, you all see a guy, uh, a, a woman, scramble uphill. She uses her bonus action to disengage, turns, and she then pulls this hand crossbow from beneath her cloak and fires three shots at Sigurd. What a bitch. I don't I get rocks? disadvantage for fucking thingies of alert. She has advantage because you were within five feet of an ally. Ah. And she is an assassin. Um, an ally who isn't incapacitated? Yeah. Fair enough. Um, no advantage then, but she gets a 20 plus whatever fucking assassin crossbow thing is. That's yeah. pretty fucking sweet. <laughs> um, Rand oh yeah, no, no doubt. This is gonna hurt. That is uh, incapacitated. You're right. Um, so give me. Uh, I'm gonna roll on Chad's thing here. One, yeah, go two, sure. three, four, five. Well, that's a number. You take 19 points of damage from the first bolt, <laughs> and. Roll to get sleepy. Sorry, oh that was the sneak attack. My bad. Um, it's the enchanted repeating hand crossbow I should be using, which is only nine points of damage. But give me a DC 15 as she does 19 points of poison damage to you as well. Was it a Roll again. Good job. You fail. You fail by five or more. You drop unconscious. She then takes her second shot at uh, Quintus. So how much damage did I take? You took, um, what was it, nine and 17? I'm just peeing. No, nine and 19. So 28. And the sh second shot, 23 on um, Quintus. I assume hits if he's only on breastplate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll just have a count my keyboard so I can't. And again, it's... Um... Oh, I get plus four to my saving throws because of my aura protection. So it would have oh. been... You rolled... You it still would have been big. Rolled. Okay, okay. You rolled a four on the yeah. die, didn't you? It wasn't loads. Yeah, but that would have been an eight. So I wouldn't necessarily fall in sleep. Uh, eight. You have to fail by five or more. DC 15. Eight. Okay, you're not unconscious. Um, the Sam takes nine points from the bolt and a DC 15 con save. Don't know if I cut out there, maybe I crushed. Nine damage from the bolt, Sam. And DC 15 con save or a bunch more poison damage is coming. Uh, a bunch more poison damage is coming. Twelve. 
And I'm you didn't fail by five or more. No? I'm unconscious. Did you roll? Sorry, uh, I don't know why. Is he dead? 13. I rolled. No, you're good. It's five or more DC 15. You got to roll under a 10. No, no, no. I'm a zero. You've, you've killed me, sir. Oh. As in, you didn't have that many hit points. Exactly. I am unconscious. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Incapacitated. That's the one. So number three is on the ground, laughing hideously. Number two and moves. It gets a save at the end of her turn. Yeah, at the end of her turn yep. comes and Wisdom probably save. goes because, yeah, she fails that. Okay. And then number two moves to engage with Sigurd. Uh, she has a multi-attack for three. No. Three short sword melee attacks. I believe only one 18. is going to hit. Um, plus six. Yeah. So only one hits. D6 plus four plus. Six damage and three D six poison damage, no save. Ooh. Eight. No, that's not eight. I'm mental. Thirteen. 13. Yeah. So thirteen and eight. That is there goes. Top of the round. Lim. Okay. Um, Sigurd is not down. Quintus is down? Yes. Correct. Quintus Larry's, is fucked. Larry's plenty healthy. I've got to keep my concentration no. up. Mm -hmm. Ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. I can get to Quintus. Yes. And I can slap him with a cure wounds. Slap me around all you want, baby. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, That's a leak. Five and a six. So yeah, whispering, whistling. I'm aware that I'm opening myself up as a target here. So maybe I should have waited, but oh well. Too late. Don't want you to die, and these seem like the kind of motherfuckers to just put shots into you when you're down. I've uh, got another one of those 32 damages in my pocket as well. Yeah, but I want to keep the concentration up as well. Uh, come on, fucking rolling strip. Fuck it, I'll just roll some dice. How many D8s am I using? All right. uh, 15. 15 fucking hit points from a fucking... Uh, <laughs> Trimmer was right. Garbage. All right, fine. Yeah, well, that's used. Wait, did you hear me? Yeah, 15 hit points for you. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, that's not quite a lot for this level. <laughs> I mean, I guess, but for that's a third half level... Half my HP. Spot. Yeah. Third level slot, though. I mean, yeah, I know. Yeah, third level slot, I can do all manner of shit, and yeah. Yeah. But I don't want you to die, so... I'm going to shoot the Thank brown you. bitch. On the hill. Racism. The brown token on the hill. <laughs> He's down the hill, I think, now. Or is she up? Whatever, She's... I'm shooting the brown one. Uh, okay. 24 to hit the brown one, number one. I imagine that'll hit. Uh, that hits. Okay, and sneak attack. Wait, why can't I... Oh, that was weird. I've got some lag. Oh shit, didn't add it up. Uh, 12. Just, oh wait, there we go. 24 21, yeah. plus 4, 28. 28. Arrow goes clean through her. Beaut. Let me do maths. What's 44 minus 28? Uh, Brain, 16. Yeah, 16, yeah. Sounds good. Brain. 
Yeah, she's fucked. <laughs> and then oh. I'll I'll just move for the sake of moving and hide again. Give us a hide. Yeah, check. yeah, yeah, yeah. I should I remembered that time. Eh, Twelve. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Me. After Larry. Samwise. Quintus. Can I still see her? Her uh, number one. Yes, you can. She's standing on the. See that fucking uh, um, gaping hole in her torso. Yeah. And, uh... Sneak attack. I'm going to do exactly the same as last time, except for rather than 32, it is um, 24 damage. And that's the last time I can do that. Second level chatter, max damage. No saves, no nothing? Oh, uh, yeah, she, got, uh, well, she, she has got a save, yeah, hang on. You're like half the for half damage. Column 15. Oh, you are a 15. Shit. Does she have a con? Con plus zero. She hits it though. Mm. So half damage is twelve. She was on sixteen. She's fucked. Not dead though. Bloody nose, red across the white, but not dead. Anything? Any movements? No. Nope. Sigurd, up to you. You've got one uh, in arm and one swinging a short sword at wild speeds at you. Yeah. And I'm going to have... And I'm poisoned as well, so... Yeah, yep, disadvantage on attacks. Uh, I think my only real option is to use Lay on Hand to dispel the poison first. Then there's a good chance I'm going to get poisoned again. Uh, I think I'm just going to have to drop Matey's foot and slap the dude. Yeah. Behind me with my great sword. Number two. Yeah. Cool. That's a chick. But go for it. Who does number two work for? Uh, sixteen, I think. That misses. Rough. Just by a smidge. Could have given any of you that inspiration, and I gave it to to, to Gex, who's proceeded to roll. Yeah, I don't need that. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's it for me. That's why I took the luck out of the equation and have just used my max damage powers. Do you have no extra yeah. attack, right? Oh, actually, yeah, I do have no yeah. attack. <laughs> Even. It's cocked. Roll it again. It's gives a damage roll. Number two, you beat. She's in pretty bad shape. Peppered with bolts, arrows. Six. I can re-roll my one. Great weapon expert. Oh, in bits. Would Cleft her in twain. twain. She be dead. Good. Okay. Any movement? Anything else? No, I'm just going to stand there because I'll fucking cool. grab this fuck. Carry it over. It is them. Number one. Oh, we have number three here. Number one is going to take. Hmm. Is as a bonus action going to cast Misty Step and vanish from your side? Reasonable. Wanker. And number three is going to get her saving throw for Tasha's. Yeah. And 
Ooh, uh, that's it. Do quite well. Eh? Okay, look around is... with it. Go yeah, that, that is the end of her turn. But yeah, yeah, and she'll look around with like utter disgust at you, and you'll see her starting to reach for uh, her crossbow, and she's lying yeah. on the ground, back to the top of the round. Okay, Liam. I'm number one's vanished. I'm moving. That's my full movement. So I'm I'm in here behind Sigurd. Sigurd's big. Sigurd's imposing. Yep. But I've taken a fairly gentle stroll. Like thirty foot of movement isn't a run for me. And I'm gonna hold the loot just in a in a in a way that suggests whatever has hit her before I can do again and again and again. And I, I'm going to invite an, in, I'm going to pitch for an, in, an intimidation roll, and just say, "You can surrender." I'm going to give her an insight roll in defense. Yeah. And yes, that works. Give us an intimidation roll. Yeah, absolutely. There is no real defensive rolls in this, is there? Um, stuff. It's not like like will or morale rolls or anything like that. Yeah. Um, it's up to you what she would do as a character. Well, she's a horrible bitch who's a trained assassin, so I'm going to think I'll give her a roll to see if, uh, if oh, that's, he yeah. believes these overlanders. She sneers and snarls at you. It doesn't seem to be working. For an intimidation roll, that's a 17 plus 8. So what's that, 25? Oh. Oh, well, that's different. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So uh, she, she scarpers back on her arse and her elbows making to move away from Sigurd. Yeah. She hasn't left the five foot square because it's yeah. not her turn. <laughs> but that's what you're thinking. Well there's a dude sat next to her who's been chopped in half or yeah. burned. It's yeah, yeah. witnessed all of this and done nothing but laugh. Yeah, like and and it's again down and to again. Larry's turn. Yeah. Pew Wait, can I hit the one that's behind you? you? Wait. Yeah, heavily obscured is by that the Tasha's one. Yeah. Yeah, yes. so the one that we're at is is we're attempting to intimidate. She is prone and heavily obscured because of the angle. Uh, okay, uh, uh, off my movement. So it's plus five to where I see. Five, yeah. 10, 15, you want to interrogate her if possible. I'll just go over there and wait, the... that's not me. Uh, risk if we all group up is this other one is yeah I'm not going to say it I'm not going to say it because it's not my turn um, it's fine I'm not going to tell you what to do I'm just going to shoot okay uh, <laughs> 21 it's hits. Hits. just a regular attack it's max damage, 10. Number three. Another bolt goes into her leg, or up her thigh. Bitch. She's still standing. That's fine. Uh, line. Well, yeah. Regardless, I'll, 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 I'll shoot. scream. Curse us in some language you've never heard. It doesn't sound elvish, if any of you speak it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's the end of your go. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In that case, we're down to Quintus. Uh, uh, uh. I am going to cast. Well, this is a bit of a long shot. Uh, oh, no, there's no point. Hmm. How, how high is it here? 20 feet. Uh, there, maybe 15. It is difficult terrain, but you can run up it. It's not that steep. But it's deep enough to make it difficult terrain. Ah, right. In which but case, you just don't need to climb it. I'm going to um, bonus action Misty Step up to like here. And I presume you'd want a perception check to see if I can see the running away bitch. Do you have dark vision? Yes. Give me a perception check. Give me another perception check that lands on the table. Well, we haven't got any edge, have we? I know. Uh, 13. 
13. You, what's her passive? Stealth. Well, considering her stealth is plus 12, I'm assuming her passive stealth is higher than 13. You do not see her. It is dark and quiet up here. The land falls away from this little hillock that you're on. But there's no sign of her. But you can only see out to 60 feet, I believe. Yes, correct. Yeah. Um... She is a rogue with a bonus action. No, she used a bonus action, but she has. Yeah. Yes, no skills. problem. Uh, in which case, I'm just going to stand here. And say, she can't, I can't see her. The last one's getting away. Okay. And it's there go. The one on the ground has, it will choose her bonus action to disengage. Roll backwards. Uh, Stam- I've still not even had my go yet. Yeah, you I keep, keep missing. You. Sorry, it's the two fucking yeah. purple dudes on the board. I keep the angle my camera's at. I just see them as one. <laughs> Let me just move Sigurd over here. Apologies, Vic. Um, Sigurd, you go. Alright, I am going to use my bonus action to use Turn the Tide and gain 1d6 plus 4. Which is 8 health. Lovely. And then I am going to grapple the bitch and grab out of her. <clears throat> I'll give you a grapple roll at advantage because she's on the ground, but she still does get to make her counter. And I'm right in saying I can use acrobatics for this, isn't that correct, Jed? Yeah, yeah, it's I... it's it's his athletics versus her acrobatics. So it would be a nine because I did fucking terrible. Okay, she gets twenty six. Yeah. She scuttles away from you. That was your action. You doing any movement or any other stuff? Nope, that was my action and my bonus. Cool. So she just bonus action disengages, rolls back, comes up to one knee, produces this uh, repeating hand crossbow, and uh, oh, sorry, these guys don't have the repeating one. Uh, produces this crossbow and takes a shot. Rolls a solid 18. On whom? No, 19 on Je- on uh, Sigurd. Uh, yep, that's a hit. And does... Uh, five points of regular damage, but you must succeed a DC 13 con save. Or get poisoned. Hey, well, I got four. And you're already poisoned, so you succeed That'd anyway. Be Nineteen. Yes, yeah, so you just take the few points of damage as the bolt cracks a few with rings on your plate mail's under armor and uh, nicks you. That was her action, her react, her and her bonus action. Yeah, I think she's done. We can always question the corpse. <laughs> Top of the round. Beam. Hi. You know what? I'm going to cast Tashes on her again. I'm going to cast Hideous Laughter on her again, I think. Um, so yeah, I'll... I'll yeah, I, I, I was threatening to do it. Wisdom save, please. 12. Wisdom plus 0. Wisdom save plus 4. 14. Fails. Uh, fails, yeah, 16 DC. Again, she just fucking drops over from the n- kneeled position she was in and just starts cackling, laughing, screeching. And I'll I'll walk to her and um, can I can I bonus action kick the crossbow? From yeah, she's dropped yeah. it. She's dropped it. I would say. Yeah, yeah, and I'll 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 kick it away from her. You kick it. It's a light spindly thing, but it's definitely not made of wood. There's iron and metal in this construction. This thing is sturdy. And just, just, just 
strum away at the at the tune that I played to cast the spell. This oh, kind so of light sounds like madness. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to yeah, the house, house of fun. Some fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she she's she's gone. You've seen you've seen this yeah. effect before. Yeah. Uh, no, I sorry, I can't yeah. do that all day long, but I I want her to think that I can, and so yeah. I'll yeah. The magic may be alien to her. Yeah. So Larry up next. You see the last one. Yeah. The other one hasn't appeared since she misty stepped away. Uh. Rock here is about five feet tall, just FYI. Yeah. Giving you great sight over to the west. Fine. I'll just go stand on the rock. <sighs> And sh no, I'm not going to shoot her. I'll just uh, <laughs> hold an action. You can act, if I can see the up. other one reappear, I'm taking a shot as soon as I see her. <laughs> That's your held action. Cool. Yeah. Uh, and then Quintus? Uh, um, scan around to the north. Give us another perception check, please. To see if maybe she teleported down instead. You could have us give us that at advantage, actually, Sam. Don't worry, it was terrible. 13. Yes, it was. Um, no sign of her, no noise, no nothing. I've had really bad rolls today. Um, yep, any movement? Um, no. I'm just going to keep surveying, and if she pops up, she's getting a spell in the face. Cool. Okay, Sigurd. Okay, Didn't I'm going to walk point. over here and tie this bitch up. Give us a grapple check at advantage. In fact, there's only one left. Okay. Is the general rule... No, don't bother, Vic. Is the general idea to capture this drow alive? Yes. Yes, for the minute. X, I'm asking you this question as well because you've been shooting her when maybe the rest of the party thought about keeping her alive. Oh, I want to find out what's going on. You can cool. execute yeah. her once we've questioned. <laughs> Turn her to a pink cushion. Yeah, I wasn't going Des to I was going to fight. Like, <laughs> they drew first blood. Despite her um, twisting and squirming and her laughter, you managed to bind her. Her legs are bound together her arms are bound behind her back. And as the spell wears off, she starts to break into this strange speech you haven't heard uh, before and starts, you assume, cursing you. Yeah. Going to um, put something in her mouth and bite it so she can't bite her tongue off. Well, also the spellcaster in you knows the power of words. So you... mm -hmm. as soon as she's bound, she's also gagged. <clears throat> She's wearing black leather armor. Again, it seems to be similar material made from the, the, uh, that was used to make the bed rolls. This to your feel seems to have metal incorporated into it. Possibly some enchantment woven through it. You're not entirely sure. It is dark. It's like it's like those stupid paints, you know, Vanta black. It just seems to drink in any light around it. It's hard to focus on it. She herself looks to be... Well, if she was human, she'd be a woman, maybe in her 40s. So who knows what that translates to in elven years. Um, she has... She has skin, but now that she, you got a chance to look at her close up, it's not white skin. It's It's pale skin, but she seems to be smeared in some white substance. Mm. A paint or a daub of some sort, or a war paint maybe, you don't know. Um, she has jet black hair and red irises, albino style eyes. All her clothing is black. Um, she's carrying this wicked, thin, short sword, curved, 
and the crossbow is a metal construction. The smallest crossbow you've ever seen. It um, must measure only about eight inches long. Tiny little bow section, probably about eight, eight inches wide. And it, it um, yeah, she's got a quiver of bows on her and a couple of things on her belt. And I think we'll leave it there for this evening. Yeah, and we'll I need pick better. it up. Yeah, we'll pick it up when we pick it up. Yeah. Thank you. Very good. Very nice good. Threat. Thank you, Gav. No worries. But... Don't remember, fellas. Uh, don't forget, I um, need a couple of little details for characters yep. out of the game on the 28th. It doesn't have to be.